Hi, and thanks for joining me again. In this episode, we're going to discuss how to improve your vlogging and some things you may wonder about. Okay, so you have a number of videos that you've made now. It's a very good idea to get more watch time and views to create a playlist or multiple playlists. I'll make a video showing you exactly how to do that if you're not aware. If you want people to see your video, you need to get it out there and make it as findable as you can. A huge way of doing that is by adding the right tags or as they used to be called, keywords. You've probably heard of TubeBuddy. If you haven't, it's a free service. Yes, there is a paid element. I have tried that paid element and frankly, I regret to report I only found one aspect that it did that the free one doesn't do. However, this is not about that. You want to make sure you have relevant tags to the subject that you're speaking about. And this applies not just for vlogs. What TubeBuddy does is get the keywords that used to be mainly in Google Analytics or an old program called Google AdWords. No, I think it was Google Keywords that was around when I started. They were very good. YouTube had a very good keyword suggesting facility. Anyway, for some reason they took that away. I've been using TubeBuddy for a number of years now and it's really helpful. It will show you the best tags or suggested best tags. It will give you a score and you can work out which keywords you could use or a string of keywords describing the video. Check the ranking, see how high it ranks. I have found too through very much experimenting that you may want to use a few vital keywords that it suggests even though it's extremely hard to rank for because the analytics of YouTube seem to factor that in when people are searching for that topic. Anyway, it's extremely vital. I spend a huge majority of my time optimizing keywords, I assure you. When's the best time to upload your video? Now, once upon a time, TubeBuddy used to suggest, in my case, it was 5 p.m. Uh, I think things have changed a lot. So the best time to upload is as soon as you're ready. Because whilst your local audience, it may be late at night for them, it'll be early morning somewhere else. So this is a global platform. Just upload. How frequently should you upload? They say at least two times a week or every two days. Okay, that's up to you. Uh, most people don't have the luxury of being able to spend enormous amounts of time making videos for a start and then editing them. So if you're doing this for fun, which I am and I'd say 99% of people are, don't feel forced to make videos. Personally, the majority of mine are spontaneous. Um, and yeah, I like it. I don't get any financial reward out of it. I used to be monetized for 12 years and at the beginning of 2018, of course, just about everyone lost their monetization. I've reapplied twice now. I'm currently still waiting for the next review. But yeah, you will never make a lot of money out of YouTube, even if you are monetized. Uh, almost no one does. That doesn't mean you should stop trying, but it means your motivation should be one of pleasure. You enjoy making the video for no monetary gain. And yeah, I think that's the best approach in life. How long does it take to edit a vlog? Good question. <laughs> I've made some short videos that have taken me 12 hours. Uh, the last one I made took 12 hours. That's not including any filming. Then again, I've made a longer one. The first one that jumps to mind is my vlog movie. That literally took me three weeks. <laughs> that was a nightmare. <laughs> but anyway, look, it can be as complex or as non-complex as you want. You'll find almost always you will have to record a bit of voiceover to make sense of the story. Or uh, very often what they call cutaway shots. So you want to pop those in over while you're talking. An example of the camera, what camera do I use? I'll pop in a cutaway shot normally of the camera. 
Yes, it's a very huge complex uh, process and one that people that don't make videos have no idea about usually. What program do I use to edit? I have always used Sony Vegas Pro. Um, I can't remember the current version, I just use it. And I'm still learning. Quite often I'll find something still. After many years of using it and the, the versions that have gone on, I'll still find the, the odd thing. I'm like, oh, that's handy. <laughs> yeah, it's like most things. The more you use it, the more you'll get used to using it and find little ways to do things a bit better. That will save time. Is it important to interact with your audience? As in the comments specifically below videos. YouTube in their own words recently have said, no, they don't count any of that or they don't factor that. I'm in the mindset that I tend to disagree. I don't know if the algorithm takes that into account anymore, but it certainly builds a relationship with your audience and uh, at the end of the day we're all people watching this so person to person is I think a good thing. Please join me in my next episode where we'll discuss how to actually vlog. If you missed any of the episodes or would like to go back to part one you'll find a link at the end of the description. See ya. If you're not a subscriber don't forget to click that button and hit the little bell so you can get all the notifications of my new videos.